Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a very quick speed comparison here between the old iPhone 10 and the new 10s uh, to see if it's worth the upgrade here. Uh, some people have been saying it's quite a minor upgrade, but we can definitely check it out, see how the Apple uh, A12 processor does compare against the last model, which was very fast in itself. Uh, but I think this one gives you 15% better computing power as well as 50% uh, better graphical power. Huge difference there when it comes to the startup and the actual prior phone beating the new phone by quite a margin. Uh, so very uh, weird there, both of them are fully up to date in terms of the software. Uh, so we're not playing any trickery here, we can just go into the settings, you can see iOS uh, 12 here, uh, which does come with some nice new features, uh, but very strange in terms of the boot up there. Let's have a look if the performance is on par uh, day to day, or maybe I've just got another defective phone, I don't seem to have much luck with these phones nowadays. But so far, it looks like uh, we are seeing the iPhone XS come back here and uh, come with slightly better performance uh, with these basic apps, or maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. So we did have one there, which is good. Oops, let's try that again. So swipe away, there we go, and go. Uh, so a little bit faster on the left there, but we did have to sign in. Uh, we do have as well some other stuff, like heavier stuff. I'm not seeing it uh, completely blow away the previous iPhone, you know, I'm not seeing a massive change here. Uh, it seems to be a little bit quicker on this game, Asphalt 9, which is good. Uh, but we still have this kind of annoying thing here where you have to hit the side to get out of the game. As an Android user, I find that extremely annoying. But hey ho, we'll get used to it. This one again, coming to the iPhone XS. Uh, well, Fortnite, let's try this one. So you can see that the 10 is remarkably uh, doing well here given that it's been discontinued and is uh, a year old pretty much. The displays look identical, you know, I've turned off the True Tone display, absolutely identical, you know, not a huge step up. Again, I think the 10s there I think you can see the actual performance improvement is probably more with the games uh, because of the aforementioned uh, spec increase in terms of the graphics. But if you're not a gamer, I don't think you're going to notice much difference day to day. It seems, uh, you know, that the 10 still very well optimized the device. Uh, let's have a look at the raw synthetics here come out of this and let's have a look at some uh, speed test got a clear line of sight to my router yeah what's all this don't know what that was so just make sure the server is the same uh, so where are we where are we? There we go. And we just go on to the 10. So I think the uh, 10S comes with 4 gigs of RAM as opposed to the 3 gigs in the previous one. So that might lend to slightly better multitasking. Wow, very poor performance for my router tonight, but you know, maybe it's just a busy night.
have been uploading a little bit. Uh, so you can see, let's see the 10s here. Let's see the 10s here. Wow, that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. That's nearly three times as fast. We will give the 10 a chance to recover here. Uh, because I don't think it's that much faster, you know, I think there's some trickery going on there. I don't think, they, they, they can't have improved it that much in the space of one year. Or maybe they have, you know, maybe they have made an amazing Wi-Fi here. Uh, improvement, which is pretty nice. I will do it again on some other videos just to check that, but you can see Wi-Fi is amazing on the 10s, uh, which should be good for you know gaming, a bit better latency and stuff. Uh, let's have a look at your Geekbench as well. See how the new processor handles it. I'm expecting a monster score for the single core. So let's go. So we're just running through this benchmark and we're about halfway done. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed at how the iPhone 10 uh, just seems to be keeping up pretty much in every single way. I think the 10s is slightly ahead, but you know you wouldn't really notice it. I think it just illustrates really how we reached a peak in terms of what you can do with the uh, processor, etc. I don't think there's a massive step up compared to the iPhone 10 and the iPhone uh, 7 series. But it looks like they're going to finish in a second. In a second. And there you go. So 4,804. Uh, so that's about 600 more than your iPhone 10, and you do get a bit more multi-core score as well. Uh, again, about 600 more. Uh, so is that a huge leap? Probably have to look back on my older videos, but I don't think uh, it is a huge leap really. It's still in the 4,000 kind of range. Uh, so yeah, a little bit disappointing there because usually. These processors do get literally like twice as fast every year, but they don't seem to have done that this year. Uh, but it looks like a solid, you know, refinement of the uh, iPhone 10 in terms of the phone. You know, if the camera is a little bit better, battery life is a little bit better, then you can't really complain too much. Uh, but I think still it would have been nice if they would have launched it for a little bit cheaper, given that it's not a huge difference. Uh, so yeah, I will be doing some other comparisons with it and checking out how it compares against Android phones, so do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!